Ancient Egyptian fashion continues to inspire today and the clothing of the pharaohs was one of the most extravagant. What a pharaoh wore. The basics of Egyptian fashion. The clothing of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs often served a symbolic purpose, but in many ways it was similar to the rest of the Egyptian clothing. The Egyptians wore light, airy clothing made of linen because of the hot and dry climate. Pharaohs also wore linen clothes, but pharaohs' clothes were more refined and ornate than everyone else's. Here are some unique Egyptian garments that were not only intended for the pharaohs, but were also made more elaborate for the Egyptian rulers. Shent. A skirt with an overstep, usually made of linen, which was worn by all classes of ancient Egyptian society. Pharaohs, along with the rich nobility and other members of the royal family, sometimes wore a higher quality tent with an ornamental belt or apron. Wigs. Many ancient Egyptians, both men and women, shaved their heads. A shaved head usually symbolizes status, and there are many other theories, from rituals to standards of cleanliness, as to why the average Egyptian might have done so. What we do know for sure is that in ancient Egypt, wigs were fashionable to conceal shaven heads, especially on special occasions. Cat. A simple cloth headdress made of linen and worn by the nobility and pharaohs. Unlike the Nemus headdress, see below, the cat was never pleated, patterned and not tied at the back. Types of textiles. Flax was the most common and widespread material, but not the only one used to make the ancient Egyptian clothing of the pharaohs. Pharaohs and the wealthy upper class avoided wearing materials that were considered taboo, such as wool and leather. Rulers were known to wear animal skins and belts, usually with lions and leopards, to show their position in the Egyptian social hierarchy. The headdress and many crowns of the pharaohs. An integral part of the clothing of the Egyptian kings was a unique collection of different crowns and headdresses strictly reserved for the pharaoh. Some headdresses symbolized the status and power of the pharaoh, while others had a specific purpose. Below is a list of these headdresses and the symbolism associated with them. Nemus. Nemus is a headdress made of stiff fabric with pleats and stripes. It has two decorative flaps, called lappets, which hang down either side of the head behind the ears and over the shoulders. The remaining fabric was gathered and tied at the back in a tail, symbolizing a lion's tail. A rampant cobra and vulture were often attached to the front. Dishray. The red crown, associated with ruling lower, northern, Egypt. This crown depicts a rampant cobra attached to the front. Hegeth. A white crown associated with the ruling of upper, southern, Egypt. This crown depicts an Egyptian vulture on the front. Peshent. A double crown associated with ruling both upper and lower Egypt together. Created from a combination of red and white crowns, this crown symbolizes the unification of all Egypt. Hepish, the blue crown or crown of war. The pharaohs of the New Kingdom, from 1550 BC to 1077 BC, are depicted in relief wearing this crown during war. Hepish symbolizes military might and includes a rampant cobra on the front. Atef, a crown in the form of a head with feathers attached to both sides. Atef was known as the crown of the god Osiris, and the pharaohs wore this crown because they believed it would become the form of Osiris after his death. Chemkame, a more elaborate form of the A the PH crown. They often included spiral sheep's horns and more than one rampant cobra. Pharaohs wore it only on special occasions, perhaps because it was large and bulky. Queen's crowns. Female pharaohs could wear all the crowns worn by male pharaohs, but they also had their own unique crowns. The modius, a flat crown worn by queens. The famous bust of Nefertiti depicts the queen and wife of Pharaoh Eniton wearing a modius crown. A rampant cobra was often attached to the front. The royal vulture, also known as the crown of an eagle or falcon. The royal vulture was a headdress worn by royal wives and female pharaohs. It is shaped like a bird of prey with two wings framing the face. Sometimes a rampant cobra was attached to the front. Crown attachments. In the above lists we have mentioned two crowns, a rampant cobra and a vulture. Both accessories were symbols of power. Yuri, the rampant cobra. Pharaohs wore the rampant cobra to represent sovereignty, royalty and divine authority. It also symbolized the pharaoh's divine protection and was attached to crowns, nemus headdresses, and sometimes to a headband worn over a wig. Egyptian vulture, also known as the pharaoh's hen. 
The Egyptian vulture on the crown symbolized the owner's divine protection. In general the vulture symbolizes purity, motherhood, death and rebirth. What materials did the Egyptians use to make the pharaoh's crown? Unfortunately, we do not know what materials were used to make the numerous crowns of the pharaohs. Archaeologists have never found a surviving Egyptian crown or a nemesis. What we do know about the material composition comes from surviving statues, hieroglyphs and relief images. Scholars suggest that some crowns, such as the crown of the hedges, were made of molded leather and adorned with metal details. Other possibilities include felt or other fabric, or they may have been woven from linen straw, like a dechre crown. Conclusion. In summary, the Egyptian pharaohs had quite an impressive wardrobe. We covered a lot of ground on the extravagant costume of the Egyptian pharaohs, so let's review. Most Egyptians wore linen clothing, but members of the upper class could afford other textiles as well. Pharaohs were known to wear animal skins and pelts, often from leopards and lions. Both Egyptian men and women shaved their heads. Various types of head coverings were popular, including wigs and cats, but some of them were only worn by the pharaoh. Nemes headdress. The red crown, white crown, and the double crown, dishre, hejet, peas chent. The blue crown, or war crown, kepish. Occasionally, the atef and hemhemet crowns for special occasions. Egyptian queens and female pharaohs wore the modius crown and the royal vulture. Female pharaohs also wore all the crowns that male pharaohs did. Archaeologists have not found any surviving Egyptian crowns. We know what they looked like from other surviving evidence, and the rest is speculation. You will usually find the uraeus, rearing cobra, an Egyptian vulture, or sometimes both attached to a crown or headdress. Only pharaohs wore the false beard, postiche. There were only a few female pharaoh scholars are aware of, and we know that Queen Hatshepsut, for one, wore the false beard. Each of the pharaoh's clothing items symbolized power in a different way, and even a simple linen kilt was a reminder of his station because it was clean, new, and adorned. The more elaborate pieces in his wardrobe reminded the people of his connection to the divine, and the ancient pharaoh's clothing also inspired centuries of fashion around the world.